headline feature on the new iPad is its retina display, a very similar display to what you get on the iPhone 4 and iPhone 4S. Now, we're not suggesting you buy either or, as they're very different devices that fill different tech holes in your life, but we're curious to see how the new iPad compares to the iPhone 4S, and we reckon you guys are too. We're going to test the processor, display and camera. The iPhone 4S has a dual-core A51 GHz chip, just like the iPad 2. The new iPad has a dual-core A5X processor. So it's a fair test, we cleared all their caches and cookies and closed any running apps. As you can see, there's not much difference. The iPad was a bit quicker to turn off and a bit quicker to load up apps. Next, we compare the screens. The iPhone 4S has a 3.5 inch retina display with a resolution of 960 by 640 at 326 ppi. The new iPad has the same 9.7 inch display as previous versions, but this time gives you 2048 by 1536 resolution at 264 ppi. Technically, the iPhone has higher pixel density because of the screen, but in our test, there wasn't much in it. On the back, the new iPad has a 5 megapixel camera and the iPhone snapper is 8 megapixels. Both also give you 1080p HD video recording. Let's see if the extra 3 megapixels on the iPhone make a difference. Again, as you can see, the iPhone 4S's camera gives you much clearer snaps, especially on zoom. In our test, the iPad performed marginally better than the iPhone 4S, but the quality of the photos from the iPhone were much better.